as the sun sets, I think of Memorial Day really as both a personal remembrance and a communal remembrance. Collectively, we stand here today, not Dutchess County, not Orange County, but one nation. It's often been said in a foxhole, there are no Republicans and no Democrats, only Americans. And so as we stand here, as we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, think of it both as a country and as an individual. Because I will tell you, there is nothing more moving than looking into the eyes of a Gold Star mother and seeing in her face both the pain, the sacrifice, and the absolute patriotic nature that is the, what it means to be an American. You see, we are blessed to have a people that is the United States of America willing to make the sacrifices. You see, the freedoms that we so easily enjoy as we go about our days were paid for with blood and sweat and unfortunately lives. But ladies and gentlemen, we collectively come together as a nation and we know those freedoms. We live those freedoms. We believe those freedoms. Our country is fragile while simultaneously being incredibly strong. The fragility is because it was built not on bricks and mortar, not on buildings in Washington. It was built on ideas. The idea of freedom. The idea of democracy. And we have been blessed in this country to have people willing to lay down their life for that idea. We will always owe them a debt of gratitude we can never, ever repay. And so as we remember that, as a community and as individuals, I think that is at the core of what Memorial Day is. And God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.